This is Karen Spar, Executive Vice President of the Southport Oak Island Area Chamber of Commerce, and today we're here at Rhea and Scout's Doggy Playland. Isn't it exciting? I love Doggy Playland. This is wonderful. Angela is the owner of uh, Rhea and Scout's mm -hmm. Doggy Playland. Hello, Angela. Hi, Karen. Tell me a little bit about your business. How did you get started in it? So this is something I always wanted to do. It was always in the back of my mind, and the opportunity just seemed to come up. At, this is a perfect location, and I live in Boiling Spring Lakes, and we don't really have anything here for you know doggies. So it just was a perfect spot. It's right off of 87, so people you know going in and out of Wilmington. Um, it's just real easy to drop your dogs off for the day and have them play. You can do a half day or a full day, but. Uh, you know, and Rhea and Scout, those are my dogs, so it's named after them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, That's just, great. Um, yeah, because a lot of dogs need a lot of activity, and even if you're home with them, it's just nice for them to learn to socialize. Like, you know, we have groups that, you know, the dogs will make their friends, and they'll come mm -hmm. in every, you know, with their friends. So, yeah. That's nice. Well, let's take a tour. Okay. So, we're going to go, uh, so when your dog gets dropped off, mm -hmm. they will spend a little time, I think, you said, in the, in the, yeah, um, so what kennels. We do is, yeah, when the dogs come in, we don't, you know, we, they all get excited when they see a new dog, so we just want to go ahead and um, kind of separate them, let them, you know, the new dog will come in and kind of smell around, and, you know, and then we'll bring them outside to go to the bathroom, because no matter what you do, they're always going to want to go outside and go to the bathroom first, so we let them go outside. And then based on their, if you look at the board here, we have like activities, um, levels of active, junior, or one on one, so we'll kind of decide. You know, a lot of these dogs are regular, so we know what they are, but once, you know, we get their temperament and then we'll put them in those groups, you know, so we'll have like the active group here, um, some of the smaller groups there, and then the, the more shy dogs, one-on-ones there with, mm -hmm. uh, with um, one of our um, play pals. So, so they're not alone at all no, they're not during alone. the whole process. No, they're not alone at all. We have doggy cams. I see the doggy them. cam. That's nice. So you can mm -hmm. be at work and watching your dog yes. and make sure everything's good. Yes, yes. And then you have a little outside area. So safety is your number one concern, yes, right? Yeah, safety is number one, and that's why sometimes we might, you know, if you're watching on the camera and you see your dog, is in one of those little separate kennels from the other dogs, it's not that they did anything wrong. It's just usually because, you know, even though they play play, they get too excited, you kind of have to split them up for a while for a timeout because they don't know that they need a timeout, and they won't, you want to make sure everybody stays safe. So this is a little area for them to come out and play and, and get on the teeter-totter there. Yeah. and I mean, it's just a lot of fun. Yeah, they love it. So you, you assess the dogs when they come in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, their see. first day would be, um, we do a free day on their first day. They, you just have to sign up at the website, which I'll show you, tell you guys mm -hmm. at the end. Um, upload your vaccination records, and then we'll set up your first day. Um, and one of the play pals will go through an, a temperament test and kind of see what group they fit well into. So, and we give report cards every time they come in, and you'll get pictures of them and see how they did for the day. So, um, yeah. Report cards, I think that's yeah. adorable. Yeah. <laughs> but um, this is a doggy daycare. Right. It's not overnight. No. So we just um, do daycare. So you can do a full day. We're open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So you, um, you know you can drop them off before work and pick them up after. And we also do a half day, which is up to five hours. So if you just you know maybe go into Wilmington for the day or you know shopping or just want to clean the house for the day, because that's what I used to do. I just want to clean the house and have a cup of coffee and the dogs. I love them, but you know yeah. just a little relaxation. And so we can do a half day or a full day. Yeah. And well, then on their wonderful. birthday, we give a birthday party. Oh! Yes. They're, nice. they're free day on their birthday. They'll get a bandana, and we make them a special doggy cake. That's awesome. And I send the parents the ingredients to make sure that That's everything's awesome. okay before we give it to them. So. That's cool. Where do they get up with you, Angela? Okay, you can go to um, Rhea and Scouts doggyplayland.com. That's our website. And you can from there, you will click on the um, booking. You can book online. You'd set up your, you, you register your dog, get all the vet registers, you know, vet records updated, and then you can book your play date. Wonderful. And telephone number? Telephone number is 910-351-8000. So if you have a little canine at home that needs a little play time and you're busy working and can't do that, and you want to make sure they get the exercise because that's so important to mm -hmm. an animal and, yeah. and how they behave. Yes. Yeah. Uh, give Rhea and scouts doggy playland a call 
And again, your phone number? Uh, 910-351-8000. Thank you very much, Angela. Thank you, Karen. <laughs>